What's up guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to convert FLAC files to Apple Lossless in Mountain Lion. iTunes natively doesn't support FLAC files so we need to convert them to um, Apple Lossless. And we'll be using Max, um, it's a program. So let me just open the web page and find it. All the relevant links will be below in the video description. So once we open Max, um, we click on Downloads and then make sure you download the latest version uh, which is here so I won't be downloading because I've already installed it so once you've installed it open the application and then go to preferences and this is the first step you need to do um, you need to create the output format I've already created mine here Apple MPEG-4 audio this is Apple lossless that won't be there once you open the program when you first use it so you need to create the format so to create it, you need to go to Apple MPEG-4 Audio, not Audiobooks. Double click and make sure you select Apple Lossless and click OK. And also make sure it's ticked. So when you, so when it's uh, converting, it's converting to that format. Uh, if it's not ticked, it won't convert anything. Also, you can um, choose the output destination, so you can put put the files wherever you want. So if we now demonstrate how to use the program. So if you just locate whatever flat file you want to convert and then you go to open with max. And here we have uh, the sort of the queue. Uh, here you can select the metadata and you can edit whatever you want and also album, album art if there's an album, album art available. So we click convert and this usually takes around five to ten seconds it's not long at all so once that's done we'll go to the output folder and here's the file It's m4a which is the extension for apple lossless and if we open to see let's just see the file size it's 35.5 megabytes and let's just compare it with the flac file the original file Thirty-five point three megabytes, so it's a slight difference. Um, so let me open iTunes. This is the latest ver version eleven, I think. And let me just drag the file, the Apple Lossless file. So it works flawlessly, and here we have the lossless it's 986 kilobytes per second which is Apple lossless and you can delete all the sort of flak files if you don't no longer need them if you're going to be just using Apple lossless so to save space so thanks for watching guys I hope this has helped and I'll see you all in the next video